Hey, Stan, the Urban Survivors Man, and I've got some tips for you. Let's say that the schmuck has hit the fan and anarchy reigns. There's chaos in the streets, people looting, robbing, running around. It's just craziness. How do you want to appear? What's the best way for you to safely move around a mob scene in the urban environment? So let me give you some pointers. First off, you won't want to dress like this. If you're dressed in a suit and tie, your work clothes, or even business casual type, you may look like a target, an easy score, something for the mobs to hit you, one to get ransom, to get money from, to get supplies, your vehicle, who knows what they're after. So you, it, it's all about blending in. Now, as I've gone from prepper convention to self-reliance expos and different meetings of preppers and such, a lot of preppers are buying a lot of tactical gear. They buy the helmets, they buy the load-bearing vests, they buy, buy the uh, plate carriers and the guns and the ARs and all sorts of fancy technical gear, the night vision goggles, you name it. They buy all this kind of stuff and if we're in an anarchy situation, the last thing you want to do is show up in the urban environment dressed like that. Now, if we are in a war, you know, a traditional war against a foreign entity and a militia's called up and you're in, a, in an actual war scene or, you know, a conflict like that, then the tactical gear is perfect. But what the tactical gear is saying to all those people around you is that, one, you have resources. You have guns, ammo, probably food back at your base camp. You have a bug out bag. You're a target. And I know many of you are going to be saying, well, if they attack me or whatever, I'll just shoot them. Well, that doesn't always work. Even Navy SEALs and Green Berets out in combat have been taken out by Taliban. So the last thing you want is someone taking you out with a 75 cent bullet. Or you don't want them following you back to your safe house or your safe zone or wherever you're bugged out to. So the point is, is that you don't want to look like a high value target. So in that situation, instead of dressing in all your tactical gear or dressing like in your work clothes, you may want to dress like this. The benefits of dressing like a homeless bum is that nobody's going to bother you. You're a low value target. Doesn't look like you have any resources. You can shuffle through the crowds or through the urban area without much difficulty. You're blending in, and that's the key. Blend in. The nice thing about dressing like a homeless man is as you're walking along, you can have a shopping cart with your bug out bag, supplies, and nobody's going to mess with you. You can also pack a lot of ordnance in this kind of outfit. So you can be fairly well armed and equipped, dressed like a bum, yet the best thing is you blend in. So think of your ninja skills. How well can you blend into your environment to survive? That was good. <laughs> yeah. That's my tip for the day. Have a good one.